someone once asked where your focus should be when you practice, whether it should be on the present moment or on a future goal. And the answer is both. In other words, you focus on the present moment with the purpose of attaining a future goal. The goals we have have to be things that you can implement in the present moment. For them to stay with us, for them to really make a difference in our lives. So as we're meditating here, the question is, well, what do we focus on here? First you f sit and focus on your breath. Be aware of the breath coming in, aware of the breath going out. Be aware of when the mind is with the breath and when it's wandering away. If it wanders away, bring it back. And be aware of the quality of the breathing. If the breathing is uncomfortable, you can make it more comfortable. In other words, there are things to do here in the present moment. It's not that we simply sit here and be in the present. The whole purpose of focusing on the present is to see exactly how much we do in the present moment. And how the habits of the way we relate to the present moment also color our whole life, the way we relate to other things, the way we relate to other people, other issues, come out of here. So if we straighten things out here in the present moment, and very immediately in how we relate to the breath, how we relate to the movements of the mind, it's going to have ramifications that spread out to other people and spread out through time. So what you focus on in the present moment is doing the most skillful thing you can do right now. That's your focus. That's your goal. If you sense the mind wandering away from the breath, you realize that that's not what's wanted right now, so you bring it back. Any thinking that helps keep you with the breath, as, uh, though, is actually skillful thinking. So it's not we're trying to ban all thought, simply thoughts that are irrelevant to the task at hand or get in the way of the task at hand, which is try to get the mind to be as stable and clear in the present moment as possible. So you can see even more clearly what you're doing. It's a process of developing sensitivity. The more you watch the movements of the mind and the breath, the more familiar they become. As they become more familiar, you start seeing subtleties that you missed before. This is why the, the goal also is something that requires time. If total skillfulness were something you could create in one moment, it would be great, but it's not that way. You work, keep working at it, this present moment and then this present moment, because you don't have anything else but present moments to work with. The past you can't change, the future that hasn't come yet. So you work right here, try to develop good habits right here by making the right choice right now. When we meditate, we try to keep the choices down to a bare minimum. Either just stay with the breath. Anything that pulls you towards the breath makes the breath clearer, makes it easier to settle down with the breath, that's fine. Anything else, just let go. It's all pretty clear-cut. The problem is our intentions are not yet clear-cut. It's like we have a committee. Or as someone once said, the mind is like a lot of different modules. When this particular task comes up, okay, that module gets into the action, gets into the act. If another task comes up, another module gets into the act. All these different roles that the mind is ready to play. And after all, it gets bored with being with this one role or it gets dissatisfied for one reason or another, it's going to try to put on a new role and go someplace else. It's tired of hanging around the house and wants to dress up and go outside someplace. But you've got to remind it that the real work gets done right here. Real happiness, once this work is done, will come right here too. It's the kind of happiness that comes from having mastered a skill, or from being in the process of mastering a skill, getting better and better at seeing what's going on. There's a sense of accomplishment, there's a sense of self-worth that comes when you know these things, see them firsthand, right here, right now, know how to, and know how to deal with them more and more skillfully.
Dogen, who was a Zen master, made the point that it's not that we're practicing to gain, gain a particular goal, but the goal is in the practice. That doesn't mean there's no a distinction between the path and the goal, but it's that simply that you focus your full attention on the path. That's what gets you to the goal. You don't have two separate things you've got to focus on here. You focus on being skillful right now, and that in and of itself brings the goal clear, clearer, brings it closer. So it helps keep your focus right here. Keeps your attention right here. You're not simply going through the motions, hoping that by doing it in a more or less mechanical way, the, go the goal will come. It's not something that you do on automatic pilot. You focus totally right here, right at the breath, which is important because the breath is something usually we do leave to automatic pilot. Let the body take care of the breathing. We've got other things we've got to worry about. But the whole basis of the connection between body and mind is right here at the breath. The reason we're able to act in any way at all, to act, to speak, to think, depends on the breath. So the breath is the foundation for all of our activity. So as we get with the breath, we're staying with that foundation to understand how these activities arise. At what point they become skillful, at what point they become unskillful, where we can get some input into them. It's not that the mind arises out of the breath. Many times the mind influences the breath, but everything comes together right here. So you want to focus right here where everything is brought together. That way you see all kinds of things all at once. So when you think about this, it helps you realize how you don't have to save anything back for the future. Just give everything to the present moment. You're what you're doing right here, right now, is important, because you get to see your intentions clearly as they happen. Someone once said this was a distraction, that all you have to do is just open up to the deathless ones, waiting right here at the present moment, ready for us to acknowledge it. That's all we have to do. And this focus on being skillful in your intentions, he said, was a distraction. I think I've told this story before. And he was at a retreat with, together with his girlfriend, and watching him interact with his girlfriend, you thought, of all the people here on the retreat, he was the one who needed to take to heart most importantly that teaching on learning how to be skillful, how not to harm other people or himself. But he wasn't interested. It's important that you see the importance of your intentions, of your choices in the present moment, because those are the things that hide what lies beyond the present moment, or you might say on the other side of the present moment. But you can't get past these things simply by dropping them. You have to understand them. You have to work through them, make them more and more refined. Because it's in these moments of present intention that we really are most fully present. that we touch what lies on the other side of those intentions. So there's nowhere else you have to look. Everything that's going to open up is going to open up right here. And until it opens up, it's not going to open up on its own. You have to take things apart. Remember the, the Thai idiom for what we're doing out here is literally making an effort, tam kwam pian, they say. There's an effort that goes into being clear about your intentions, but it's an effort that's well spent. It's not an effort that gets in the way, it distracts you, because it's right here that all the important issues are going to be made. Even if you don't get all the way to nirvana in this lifetime, at least you learn to clean up your life by being careful about your intentions, because these are the factors that shape your life. And right here is where it's being shaped. Past actions, past intentions, those are already shaped. You can't do anything about them. Future ones, 
You can't determine anything about how they'll be handled except through developing good habits right here and now. So we have to realize the importance of our choices as we make them, because they really do shape our lives. They shape the lives of people around us. And so we want to bring as much mindfulness and alertness to them as we can so that they're well shaped, as skillfully shaped as we can make them. Some people would like to have ironclad guidance on how to make the right decisions all the time, being afraid of making mistakes. You, everyone will have to make mistakes in this process. It's simply a question of your determination to learn from your mistakes so you don't repeat them. That's important. You don't have to be upset about past mistakes or feel guilty about them. Look at them as learning experiences and resolve not to repeat them, and that's, that's the best that can be expected of any human being. So this is why we medit meditate in the present moment, trying to bring the mind into the present moment, because everything important in our lives is happening in the present moment. If we want happiness on the level of the world, it's going to be created right here. If we want happiness that transcends any and all worlds, it's something that's going to be learned right here, by observing right here, these intentions that we have right now. Right now we're trying to train intention so it stays with the breath. So that it's clear. The decisions we make right now are clear-cut. Either you stay with the breath or you wander off. When you're with the breath, you try to make it comfortable. That cuts away a lot of complications. When things are simplified this, it, like this, it's a lot easier to be confident in your decisions. And this gives you a basis of solidity from which you can start looking at other decisions that are less clear-cut, may require more sensitivity. but will benefit from the added strength of mindfulness and alertness that we're developing right now. It's in the doing that the goal is attained. You can see this in the structure of the Four Noble Truths. The Buddha talks about the duty with regard to the Second Noble Truth, which is the cause of suffering. He says you let go. And what is the th cessation of suffering? It is precisely that, the letting go of the cause of suffering, the letting go of craving. But that truth also has a duty, that you want to do it clearly. You want to be very clear about what you're doing. You let go and you have to know what you're doing. Which is why the path that we're following is a combination of two factors, two types of factors, factors that let go and factors that develop our powers of awareness. And it's in the doing of the path that all these other tasks for the other noble truths all get taken care of. So you find that when you understand what you're doing, this is a very important process here because it contains the seeds of all the different factors of the path. Trying to be as alert to the breath as possible and letting go of all your distractions. That's the basic pattern for the whole path. The developing of alertness, and other faculty, other qualities that make the mind more and more clear, and the letting go of everything that gets in the way. This way, the decisions we make in our lives, whether they're day-to-day -day decisions or meditation decisions, are made more and more skillfully, less and less harm to ourselves, the people around us. They call, all come out of this same process of being very clear about what you're doing in the present moment and having a good sense of the consequences of your actions. And this is a process that gets more and more refined all the time, simply by focusing right here. And it's through focusing right here that the focus carries through to 
goal at the end of the path, when the work is done, when the skill has been mastered. But you don't master the skill in any place else besides doing it right here, right now, with as much clarity, persistence, as ingenuity as you can master, as you can muster. In other words, bring everything down right here. Boil everything down to what you're doing right here, right now. And the more undivided you can make your attention right here, the more you'll see. It. 